Hey, good afternoon. This is Coach Jill, and welcome to our Juicing for Weight Loss webinar. Joining me, I've got Coach Penny and Coach Paula. Good afternoon, ladies. How are you this afternoon? I'm great. How are you? Excellent. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Thank you for joining me. We're going to dig right in um, to this, and if you have questions, please feel free to post them. Um, the chat is open. I'd love to hear your questions, but we're going to dig right into this. And today we're talking about the benefits of juicing for weight loss. So, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, information out there on juicing, and um, you can hear everything from juice for one day to juice for, for 90 days. And today we're going to dispel some of those myths and talk about the proper way to juice fast for weight loss. Now here at Fit Life, Fit Life part of our program um, is juicing. Our, our coaching program focuses on whole food nutrition, juicing, fitness, uh, and mindset. Uh, that combination um, really helps with our clients and they get the weight loss results that they are seeking. So today we're going to talk about uh, how to get those results along with the proper juicing. Now we often get questions about um, what's better, juicing or blending. Well, they're both, they both have a place. They absolutely both have a place. So one is not better than other. They each have their own um, piece. That's good. So let's start off with juicing. When you juice, you are actually putting your produce through a juicer. You are extracting the juice out of the produce, leaving the fiber behind. So all of the nutrition is in the juice that you are um, getting out of that produce. And when you drink that juice and it's full of all that nutrition, your body's going to absorb it quickly because there is no fiber to break down in the digestive system. So you're going to absorb the, that nutrition fairly quickly when you drink that juice. So in the stomach, in about 10 to 15 minutes um, uh, after drinking that juice, you're going to be absorbing all that nutrition immediately. Now, um, blending, blending is done with a blender. And um, you, can, you will put all your, your produce into that blender and the blender is not going to remove the fiber. So the fiber is still going to be contained in that juice. So therefore, uh, when you drink that juice, or the sm it's actually a smoothie, it's not a juice. So when you drink that smoothie, the fiber is still present. Your body and your digestive system still has to process that fiber in that smoothie in order to extract all the nutrients. So it does have a place, and, and we often hear, well, fiber's good for you, and fiber is great for you. Fiber is fantastic. We, we love fiber. Um, but when you are juicing, the purpose of juicing is really to give your digestive system a rest. So, um, and that's part of the reason why we juice, is allow your body to, your digestive system to have that rest um, while you are juicing. So that is the difference between the two. Now, will you absorb all the nutrients from both, both the juice and the smoothie? Yes, absolutely. The smoothie is going to take a little bit longer for your body to absorb because it has to break down that fiber in order to get the nutrition out of, of that smoothie. So they both have a place, and all, all of the coaches here, all of the staff here at FitLife, we do both. We, we do juices, we do smoothies, and they, and they do have a place in, in our nutritional plan. So um, there, there is a time and a place for everything. So we recommend when you are juicing that you're also making sure that you're, you're getting proper hydration. Now hydration uh, is so, so important and most people are walking around in society today very dehydrated and not realizing it. So if you're experiencing things like that afternoon drowsiness while you're sitting at your desk or maybe you have those dark circles under your eyes, maybe your hair is a little dry, maybe your skin's a little bit dry, maybe you're not sleeping as well as you normally do. Um, those are all signs of dehydration. And um, the proper hydration levels in the body, um, you need 80 to 120 ounces of water per day to achieve and maintain that proper hydration level. And when you think about how much water you're drinking, um, if it's not even close to that 80, 
chances are you are walking around with some dehydration issues. So the goal is really to start to increase your water. If you're not close to that minimal 80 ounce range, you really need to start to, to add more water uh, to your daily regimen. How do you do that? What do you do? Well, first things first, um, you know what? Find a water bottle that you love, take it everywhere with you. Make sure that you've got it at your desk, in your car, when you're traveling, wherever you're going, take that water bottle with you and just keep filling it throughout the day. If you have a hard time remembering how many bottles of water that you've had, you know what? Put some rubber bands on your bottle. Um, if this is a 20 ounce bottle and you need 80 ounces, you know what, get those, get those four rubber bands on here. When you're done with those rubber bands, then you know that you've drank your, your consumed your 80 ounces of water. So um, that's, it's so, so important to make sure that you are getting enough water in each and every day. Um, when you're not properly hydrated, uh, your body does not function. Hello, May Desmond. Hi. We're talking hydration. <laughs> That's right. The essentials. There we go. <laughs> so what I was saying is that when the body is not properly hydrated, it does not function as well. Your metabolism slows down. Even just the functioning of your liver, your digestive system, they all slow down. And when you are looking for weight loss, um, you're going to find that your weight loss is going to slow down when your body's not properly hydrated. Do you want to add something to that, May? You know I love this conversation. So okay. at first, water seems super boring, but there's minimally two essential, basically biological pathways that water is critical for, meaning if you are dehydrated, they literally stall, um, one of which is fat mobilization and literally metabolism. So the elimination and removal of body fat in general uh, requires water. So when we're dehydrated, um, it's kind of a a alarming reality that you literally can't mobilize body fat and burn it. So you may be doing all the right things, like doing all the crazy workouts, maybe even eating perfectly, but if you're not drinking enough water, um, although it seems super boring, uh, that can be holding you up. So what we recommend for clients, right, Jill, is between 80 and 120 ounces of water, uh, and that can seem really daunting at first. Um, and so I'd love Jill to actually explain one of the techniques you recommend for this, and then I will, uh, I'll go ahead and jump into the second reason why water is essential. Go ahead and explain your second reason, May, because we just uh, touched on that right before you oh, joined. Oh, you did? <laughs> Sorry. Um, so the, the second reason is for um, toxin removal. So one of the big things and one of the primary reasons why potentially you're juice fasting in the first place is removal of toxins from the body, right? Um, and it's a really gross visual uh, to explain, but you can imagine like these toxins as being stored in the yellow fat in the body. Um, so inside your fat cells, that's where most toxins um, kind of are housed and are um, they kind of almost um, they prefer to live there essentially. They get stuck there in the body. It sounds gross, but as we mobilize this body fat and these toxins, they basically go through the liver. They're processed through the liver, and they actually get um, delivered into the bloodstream to get processed out of the body. And if we don't have enough water, uh, literally that clump of yellow toxins and body fat gets stuck mid-process and, and doesn't go anywhere. So it literally will not be removed from the body without water. So although it seems really, really, again, boring, that water piece is incredibly important. And one of the amazing benefits of juicing is that you are increasing hydration but you've got to have both. You know, Jill, uh, I know the coaches here can't emphasize it enough how much water is an important piece of your transformation process and making bodily change, right? Exactly. That's you my know. water spiel. Yeah, and really you need to think of your bloodstream just like the highway of your body. So um, those toxins are floating around in that highway in your body and you need to move them out. And the only way you're going to move them out is by drinking enough water. Yeah. It's, it's like a, a water slide without water in it. Like, yeah. like you're not going to move much, right? <laughs> and you know, you know, oftentimes people complain about, oh my gosh, I have to be in the bathroom all the time. I have to be in the bathroom. Well, look at that as a good thing. It's a really good thing because every time you're in the bathroom, you're eliminating, you're pushing those toxins out of your body. So embrace it. Change the way you think about it and think about it as a really good thing. Even though it's an inconvenience, it's a really good thing. So. Um, <laughs> So let's talk about um, let's talk about how to incorporate juice. 
um, what's the easiest easiest way to start to incorporate juice? And um, if you're brand new to juicing, sometimes this can be daunting because you're thinking, oh my gosh, I don't have a juicer, I don't know what to juice, I don't know how to do this, and it's not that it's not that difficult. This is an easy, easy task. You know, if you do not own a juicer, you know what? Find the local juice bar. Find some place around you that does cold pressed juices, and you need to make sure that you're getting cold pressed juice. You want to say tell why may? So one of the things we talk to clients about a lot is kind of the um, prioritization of juice, essentially. So what what is that hierarchy of, of juice? And whenever we can get fresh juice, it's always best, right? So if you can juice at home and know exactly what's going into it and what amounts, incredible. Well, hopefully if we have time today, we'll talk a little bit about uh, ingredient choice and selection. Uh, based on kind of what results you're looking to achieve. You know, I know those that are watching this call, you're looking to achieve weight loss, and there's very specific things that we want to include more of and those that we want to include less of in our juices. So whenever possible, making your own juice so you know what's in it is critical. I mean, that's great. Um, that's ideal, I should say, not critical. It's ideal. Uh, if you have someone else, you know, making you a juice, maybe it's at Whole Foods or a market or a juice shop, you know, it's great to get to actually ask them, you know, how much uh, apple are you putting in this juice? How much, um, um, not asparagus, but I mean, that'd be gross. Or actually, we have juice asparagus, but how much, um, you know, beet is going into this, um, you know, carrot, whatnot. Those, those ingredients that have sugar in them, you really want to ask how much is in there. Um, and so when we talk about uh, the quality of the actual juice, if we can get a cold-pressed juice, the, uh, the nutrients in that juice have not been heated at all. And essentially, in the actual creation of that juice, um, they're going to last longer, so they're preserved. So when we talk about, you know, oh, you really want to get, like, the best nutrients possible when juicing, and we're talking about the process of which type of juicer to buy, you can look at it like heat is always going to have the capacity to denature some of the natural enzymes that are in the plants and um, essentially the, the vegetables that you're eating. So when we do heat things up, we actually denature. So we destroy those enzymes or some of the nutrients that are not heat tolerant. It's just like cooking, right? So when you cook things, you do denature some of the nutrients. And not that it's the worst thing in the world, but if you're trying to get the full benefit of juicing and that's something that's raw and nutritious and very fresh, when you are heating it up, you're going to miss some of those nutrients or going to, um, you won't get them. So when you get a cold press or when you get to make a juice at home, um, you know that you are getting all the nutrients possible, right? Exactly, exactly. You know, and I think the other, the other key piece is that we hear often, what's the best juicer to buy? And really, there is no, there's no one brand that you absolutely need to go with. Go with something that's in your budget. Um, get what you can afford and look for you know look for the deals out there. A juicer is the best juicer is the one that you're actually going to use. So make sure that you're buying something that you're going to use. It's that simple. That's 100 percent true. That's that's a, a druism. It's, he'll always tell you that. He'll obviously you know he'll try to get the best juicer possible. But he started with I think like a ninety dollar juicer or a seventy dollar juicer from it was like um, Walmart or Staples or not Staples but like Target or something you know and it was. He used it until it broke when he first was juicing, but it was not an expensive juicer, and it was just the juicer that he wanted to start with. So if you're, you know, hesitating in, in beginning juicing because you, um, you know, you're trying to save the money to get a good juicer, don't instead, um, and just get, you know, get the juice that you can afford and use. That's it, right? Exactly. What's one more thing worth mentioning, too, is our clients often will use Organifi, right, our greens powder, the one that we create at FitLife, to make sure that they can, kind of like as an insurance plan, essentially. So we're not recommending juice fasting with it, necessarily. Um, we really want to get a variety of nutrients when we juice fast and very, very fresh nutrients, but it's an amazing in-between juices or when you're in a pinch and you can't get fresh juice or if you're just trying to get that consistent, like, you know, greens hit, your daily green juice hit, you can definitely begin with Organifi. So we do recommend most clients start there. And I'd love to, at the end of this call, give them some kind of discount code they can use if they haven't tried it yet to start out. So that'd be cool. Um, remind me before we finish, okay? Yes, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. So when you're starting to juice, um, we also get the question of how much juice do I need to drink? What's the proper amount to drink? And that varies. That varies from person to person. Um, some people start, I drink anywhere from 10 to 12 ounces, and I know Drew is more at the 32 to 40 ounce, correct? Yeah. A lot. A lot. And 
and worth mentioning here is really the um, the risk, right? If you're not juicing enough uh, and not getting the benefit of juice fasting, for many, um, I know you're on here watching this because you are here to juice to lose weight. And one of the biggest, the most common mistakes we see is our clients come in where they tried to juice fast previously and essentially they just didn't juice. You know, they had like two juices a day, you know, so at most they had 24 ounces or something, if that, and they were basically just fasting. Um, and that's great, but that's very different. It has a completely different benefit um, and it typically should be done very differently. So when we're looking at juicing, the primary concern that we have as um, as kind of the transformation coaching staff is to uh, maintain our clients' blood sugar levels. So, if you're not eating for prolonged periods of time, your liver will essentially mobilize some glucose and help support you. But what will happen before that is you typically kind of crash. So, really low energy levels. Typically, that's when our clients make really bad de decisions. So, it's like if you decide to go on a diet and you're not eating enough, and then you decide to instead have like cookies. <laughs> <laughs> that bad decision. Typically, that's because of low blood sugar, right? You're not making smart decisions anymore. Your brain's no longer helping you. So um, what we want to prevent is exactly that. So we want to maintain level blood sugar and um, keep our clients having a juice every two and a half to three hours. And literally, we have them set a timer on their phone. So when we talk about how much to juice, most importantly is actually the frequency question, which is... Um, Set an alarm on your phone, juice, or have a green drink, have an Organifi or something every two and a half to three hours. Um, and that's really just to maintain your blood sugar levels throughout your day of fasting, right? Uh, and that's, that's of course, in the context of a juice fast. And I just realized, Jill, we weren't talking about juice fasting yet, were we? <laughs> that's okay, me. <laughs> we jumped well, that. That's okay. And I think the key piece, um, one of the, the, the key pieces that we need to talk about is, you know, each time you're drinking your juice at that two and a half to three hour um, time slot, you know, drink juice, definitely drink the juice. Um, it's something that you want to do until you're full. Don't force feed yourself juice. You don't want to just keep, and you don't want to be drinking all day long. Um, so set the timer, you know, decide, um, and maybe you're going to start with 10 ounces and drink that juice. Yeah. See if you're still hungry. If you're still hungry, have some more juice. Um, but don't continue to force feed yourself juice all throughout the day. Um, you still need to make sure that you're incorporating water in there. Um, it's very important, even though you are drinking juice, you still need to hydrate. Um, and the, the, your water um, requirement does not go away when you're juicing. That's the price, surprising part. <laughs> yes. So, um, so let's talk, May, let's touch real, real quick on, on some basic recipes before we get into juice fasting. So let's talk about, um, you know, how to juice to see results. I love it. So one of the most important things we look at is, uh, at FitLife, how we juice. Uh, and the most common mistake we see is our clients juicing the wrong thing when they first come in. So they are drinking an apple juice. <laughs> They're drinking carrot juice. They're drinking um, orange juice. Orange juice, yeah. And and doing maybe trying even a juice fast or saying, yeah, I had my juice today and asking what was in it. And the majority of what was in it was just a bunch of sugar. And what that typically does is actually do the reverse of helping you lose weight, right? So it's actually keeping weight on. Um, on your body or even adding weight, right? We've had people do juice fast and they gained weight because they were juicing completely the wrong things. So when we look at juicing at FitLife, we look at um, primarily three categories of ingredients. The first and, and most important being the base. And, and a base is a typical cucumber, um, celery, uh, maybe like lettuces, like romaines and stuff, anything that has lots of water in it, maybe even like Swiss chard, right? So these are the bases that make up the majority of the volume in your juice. So that's the first category. The second category would be something that maybe would be sweet, and this would be um, you know something like a potentially an apple, uh, a carrot, um, a, a, some beet or something, right? Mm -hmm. And then the third would be like flavor amplifiers such as like lemon, lime, ginger, uh, herbs such as cilantro, parsley. Uh, you know, you can get crazy with it. Of course, turmeric would be a great um, example of another flavor intensifier. 
Uh, and those are the three categories. So when we look at juicing recipes for weight loss, it's super important that we look at minimizing that second category, which is going to be the sweet. Right, so those do add something to the juice and make it sometimes palatable, especially for our brand new clients that haven't got used to juicing yet. So we know you have to have a little bit in there, but say you're you're juicing right now and adding two apples or five carrots or a whole beet, you want to minimize that. So one of the first recommendations we have is let's take a look at what you're juicing for the results that you want. And knowing that you want weight loss, we would say at most half of an apple, at most you know two carrots, at most a quarter of a beet. Right. Right. And you really do, um, you know, the one thing with apples, especially because apples are really delicious, if you can go with the green apples, they're going to have the lower amount of sugar for you. So definitely try and, and go towards the green apples rather than some of your sweeter apples like your honey crisps and things like that. So, um, And as far as your beets, you know, oftentimes we will hear, the beets taste dirty. Um, you can try peeling that outer layer off your beet. Um, and that will take some of that dirty flavor away from you. Yeah, that, that's huge. And, and, and a really important thing to remember, too, is if you're concerned about, like, the cost of buying all organic is using the resource, the Dirty Dozen and the Clean Canteen, or the Clean Canteen. <laughs> this is what this is, the Clean 15, <laughs> that bottle. Um, and what I'd love to do, too, during this call is link over the, um, the most common juicing mistakes guide that we have. Uh, and offer that to them on the call as well. I think it's a great resource. And they should have seen it in the email to join this call, but in case you guys missed it, we'll hook you up with that as well. That's got the, the Dirty Dozen uh, linked in there as well. Yes. Very cool. So now let's, uh, let's segue into juice fasting and juice fasting for, for weight loss. And um, let's talk about, first of all, why, why juice fast. May you want to touch on that? Yeah, so juice fasting offers this incredibly unique opportunity where essentially you're presenting your body with the ability to do something called autophagy, which is essentially um, house cleaning, housekeeping. So your body's able to basically get rid of a lot of the malfunctioning or um, or dead cells and um, uh, and rubbish kind of in your body. So it's a it's a form of detoxification, right? Autophagy. You can dip into this if you're just fasting as well. So say you're water fasting or um, for religious reasons, maybe you just finished Ramadan, right? You you got to you got to observe that and benefit from that as well. Uh, and it's an incredible experience for the body. The unique benefit that juicing presents is in this state of autophagy, you are simultaneously providing your body with a incredible, incredible dose of nutrients. Sometimes more plant nutrients, so phytonutrients and phytochemicals, all these amazing kind of building blocks for um, enzymes and uh, and even the production of uh, neurochemicals and hormones, all this great stuff your body has to do. You're providing the amount of nutrients that sometimes people wouldn't get over a course of five days, right? The amount of greens, the amount of like supercharged nutrients that maybe your body hasn't seen in a while. Um, and this is why people and oftentimes our clients experience this like incredible energy high where they're like, oh my gosh, I feel an incredible amount of energy. I'm so focused. I haven't felt this good in 10 years, right? We hear that all the time. Um, I haven't felt this good in ages, right? I haven't slept this well. I haven't. All, all these kind of biological corrections can happen in this pretty unique state. So, I mean, I can talk about the power of juicing, the miracle of juicing forever, of course, um, but it's one of those things we get to see with our clients time and time again. So it's a, a, um, an immense opportunity for the body to not only heal, which is basically doing that house cleaning, but also optimize, repair. Um, this is why we basically have our first reset that we promoted at the company FitLife called the Alpha Reset, which is like the first reset. It allows your body to not only correct issues for weight loss. So you're having stalled results, you're seeing, you know, maybe some hormonal blockages going on that are literally preventing you, despite doing all the right things, preventing you from seeing the weight loss. Or maybe you're trying to add lean muscle to your body and trying to just change how your body looks and seeing no change, simply because you need to do a reset, right? So juicing allows that really unique experience for the body. And let's talk about, you know, how to su properly support the body when we're juice fasting. Right, so one of the most common mistakes um, that we hear a ton of, because the majority of our community came from um, the incredible documentary, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, um, but also seeing other online resources or maybe um, you know other programs 
uh, they typically are under the impression that you know a 60-day juice fast is good, or a um, you know 30-day or 10-day even or whatever is good. But we what we've seen time and time again is um, clients coming off that in incredible metabolic disrepair, like awful. Um, and basically down-regulating their metabolic capacity to lose weight in the first place, right? So what we, what we really, really are cognizant of and aware of when we're working with clients is two important things. Um, the, the possibility of nutrient deficiencies when juice fasting too much, and also um, the very high likelihood of metabolic down-regulation with prolonged juice fasting. So those two things are um, really, really top of mind with our clients and why we do custom detox plans for our clients specifically to prevent these two things. So if you get nothing else from this, this call is the, um, the encouragement to do intermittent juice fasting and that's something that at FitLife we teach our clients, we basically handcraft those um, the, that detox schedule essentially and it is designed to prevent those two things that are really common when juice fasting. So you can have all the right intentions but if done incorrectly those two instances where basically you're eating nothing and losing nothing, that's metabolic downregulation, right? You basically, um, your body adapts to having no calories and when you do increase your calories, if you stop juice fasting, you gain weight really fast because your metabolic set point is very low. You're used to eating no calories. And then the other scenario is nutrient deficiency. So if you're only juice fasting, you're essentially getting zero or very, 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 very little fat or protein. And those are two essential nutrients for brain function, for organ function, for general life, right? So it's really important. Um, we have, we've seen clients that had um, you know, thyroid issues, hair loss, all kinds of crazy stuff because they were juice fasting for too long when they first came to us. Um, so having to correct that takes a bit and then obviously having the intention to simply prevent that moving forward is huge and very top of mind um, for all of our coaches here nice. and why we do those custom detox plans with our clients. So critical, right? So what we recommend is the longest you do a juice fast is three to four days. Four being normally Jill's like, nah. Um, I'll push four with some clients, but typically three is the longest, and that's to prevent nutrient deficiencies and also metabolic downregulation, right? Um, and what we do is, is like I said, something called intermittent juice fasting. We actually create a, a program for it, and one that we modify and customize for our clients that go through our coaching program uh, called uh, juice cycling. And that looks like, based on the kind of results you're looking for, we program in your juice fasting days weekly, and that could look like one to two, maybe three days max. And we're also very specifically aiming to get at least you know, three non-juice fasting days in, right? And we have a names for those and all that jazz, but it really helps us make sure that we are very aware of preventing those two most important things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think the key, one of the key pieces and part of the reason why we developed the juice cycling uh, program is really to help you set yourself up for success. So yeah. when, when you're just kind of flying off of the cuff and saying, oh, I think I'll juice fast this day and I think I'll do this this day, it doesn't set you up for success. And one of the big pieces that we push um, is that pre-planning and planning ahead. So know exactly what you're going to do each day of the week and plan those days out so that you are setting yourself up to succeed get the weight loss um, goal that you're looking for and um, be able to support your body properly during those times. I was also going to mention do it long term. So we have so many clients that come in and kind of get addicted to the, the results they see when juice fasting mm -hmm. and really really importantly is to remember that like if you want to do this long term not only yes you have to get those results but you have to also see the the long-term plan, right? So it's like having a, you know, oh, I'm going to do 90 minutes of cardio every morning. Obviously, that's not sustainable, right? Or three hours of cardio every morning. Like, yes, it's going to get your results, but that's pretty short-sighted, right? That's not going to be a, a rest of your life plan. So juice cycling allows you to adapt based on your needs. You have many clients that um, use the juice cycling uh, program and the um, basically intermittent juice fasting to really plan for family vacations, um, work trips, uh, you know, graduations or you know what have you events and whatnot so they can get ready for them and really know how to do that right and I think the other key piece that we teach is this is continuity with this so that you're not seeing still these this yo-yo cycle of oh had a bad weekend I can juice fast oh 
you're going to see steady results as you as you plan ahead and as you stay on track um, with the program. You're going to see those steady results. So there really isn't that need to do that yo-yo dieting. Yeah, which is very very important and something that I think uh, is often missed when we talk about you know the the necessities with with juicing for transformation and transformation being like you know, this is actually a great opportunity. I'd love for each of you to share what you've experienced in terms of, since this is a weight loss um, juicing call, what kind of weight loss you've experienced with juicing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take it away first. <laughs> um, well, uh, since beginning the program, um, I have dropped uh, over 100 pounds, and I have kept it off now for... I lose the timeline. It's it's going on three years, really. It's going That's incredible. On. Yeah, yeah. And and you did the majority of that work when you were bed bedridden, recovering from a surgery, which is nuts. Correct, correct. I was not able to work out, so it was it was solely nutrition, solely yeah. nutrition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And before jumping into Paula, I'm gonna drop um or mention basically where they can find out more to get minimally a custom detox plan, but also learn about the coaching program. Um, working with a certified coach and talking more about this program, you can do fitlife.tv slash detox dash plans. And uh, the offer is live um, in this call as well. Oh, cool. Okay. So that will take you there, and you'll also find the PDF uh, linked. I just dropped the link in, in the chat as well for the PDF. Yeah. Um, and they, they can always shoot you an email at jill at fitlife.tv if they want to get more of those resources or didn't see them for any reason. Cool. And again, you can also find it at fitlife.tv slash detox dash plans for more information on that. Um, Paula, take it away. Well, what was your experience with juicing and weight loss? Um, I lost, I have lost 50 pounds and it's been, it's been about two years. And then you have it off. Yeah, that's incredible. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Paula's an incredible, actually, Paula, Penny, and Jill are, um, you know, create our coaching team here and are incredible certified coaches that um, pour their hearts into the coaching program. So thank you for being on here, Paula. I appreciate that. Penny! <laughs> I've lost 62 pounds over the last two years. My situation was like Jill's. Um, I've only recently, in the last six months, been able to really start to move my body. So I lost that basically just on nutrition, which was fabulous. But I started feeling miraculous. I can only tell you that. You just sleep now? You didn't sleep? I all. sleep. I was only sleeping three to four hours a night for years, years and years, three to four hours tops. Now, seven to eight, no problem. That's incredible. I love hearing that. That's, amazing, yeah. you. That's something you and I worked on for a Yes, we did. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Thank you uh, for sharing those stories, too. I think it's really important to just hear the, um, the tangible power of juicing once again. So in terms of juicing for weight loss, um, one of the, the best recommended next steps is to minimally get a custom detox plan, which will help basically outline what specifically you should use, when, um, and the nutrition that goes along with that. Um, we also have a supplement guide that we recommend um, and a bit of resources that we give to our just simple detox plans. Um, and that's a monthly uh, plan you can get from our staff here. It's a custom formulation based on your goals and kind of who you are. And then additionally, we also offer uh, group coaching, which Jill begins next Monday, which is important, mm -hmm. Monday. Um, and we also have private coaching opportunities. So whether you want to work in a group on your transformation or if you want to work with a coach, you'll see that information at um, in the sidebar, but also at fitlife.tv slash detox dash plans. Um, and, yeah, I think that that's all I had. I don't know if you want to add anything to it, um, Jill. No, I, you know, um, please uh, feel free to reach out and email me at jill at fitlife.tv if you have questions if you're not sure what's the right plan for you to, to participate in. And if you're looking for more accountability, if you really feel that you need that higher level of accountability and some one-on-one -on -one time each week with a coach, uh, please also do realize that we do offer private coaching. So you do have that option available to you as well. So reach out. Um, I'd love to chat with you and help you find the right fit for you uh, so that we can help you to reach your goals. 
Tremendous. Thank you, ladies, both, for putting this on and putting it together. Um, we will send out the replay, so uh, if you wanted to watch this again and get the information, take some notes or whatnot, um, you're more than welcome to. And just appreciate you guys working on your transformation. So looking forward to hopefully seeing you in one of our programs and getting to work with you and hopefully know you and see your transformation. So thanks, ladies. Bye.